All right, so here is a recent event that occurred at the Columbia Journalism School. It's called uh. Fault Lines Democracy. Policy and the Press was the name of this panel. And among the speakers were Joe Kahn and Sally Busby, top editors at the New York Times and the Washington Post, respectfully. And uh, Jose Vega, who has been featured many times on the Jimmy Dore Show, because he challenges politicians and pundits, mm. especially on their support for the Ukraine proxy war, and he does it to their faces. He showed up, and this is what he had to say. Oh, is this the lecture hall with Seymour Hirsch? I, I just, I'm looking for the one with Seymour Hirsch because it's a policy and press hall event. So shouldn't we be talking about the Nord Stream since that's the biggest story of the century? And you guys, you know, I'm sorry. I mean, you have the executive editor of the New York Times there who came out with a phony story to try and block Seymour Hirsch. It just, it's just kind of funny how that happened, you know? I mean, did you even acknowledge Seymour Hirsch? All of you are executive editors of papers that broke Pentagon, Me Lai, Watergate? Is this the same papers or not? I mean, is there anything you've gotten right in the last 20 years? Or am I mistaken about that? I'm, well. It's just kind of funny because Iraq, wrong. Syria, wrong. Russiagate, really wrong. Okay, I mean, the list goes on and on. So the last thing you could do to try and actually fix your reputation is acknowledge that through leaks, we had to find out that Zelensky was going to bomb Moscow on the anniversary. I mean, if you're so impartial, shouldn't you at least say, right, that Zelensky was going to bring us on the verge of World War III? This is one of the recent Pentagon leaks that showed up on the Discord server, apparently, which is that the U.S. Stopped Ukraine from bombing deep into Russia on the anniversary of Russia's invasion. That seems pretty fair. While Julian Assange rots in prison, all of you got, you know, fat checks because he's in jail for doing your job. Nice. And you know what? Tucker Carlson ain't no Seymour Hirsch, but he did something you guys are scared to do. Speak the truth and actually be critical of the war, which is why he was actually fired from Fox. Because you are all cowards, every single one of you. None of you have actually had any relevancy. And you know what? The mainstream press is now dying. Nobody's ever going to listen to you again. You have no credibility with the public. The only people who care about what you have to say are elite assholes who have nothing productive to say anymore. And it's dying off. So will you at least say something, either about Nord Stream or Ukraine or the fact that Zelensky brought us to the verge of World War III and the only reason we knew about that was through leaks? Wow. I, I'm, go ahead. It's a free speech event, right? You guys are the press. Jonathan Let's Kate say Park. something here. There's no Mr. Khan, come on. You know, you're the executive head of the New York Times, you know? You let him go a while, huh? I'm just trying to get into some good trouble here, man. Woo. Listen, Karen, get out of my face for a second. I got to talk to these gentlemen. <laughs> well, I just want to hear what they have to say. Go ahead. I'm done. Wait your turn. Wait your turn. Wait your turn. You're not going to tell him to you. Come. Wait your turn. You could, you could project if we can. I think it's important to hear everybody's point of view. Yeah. So thank you. All right. I do think that we need to give uh, our moderator a chance to ask other questions. We're on the verge uh, of World questions. War III. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. Thank you. So exactly what you think they would do. They go, we need to have mm -hmm. our moderator ask us other questions. We don't want to answer any of those questions because they reveal that we are stenographers to power and we are evil because that's what those people are. They are manufacturing consent for murder and slaughter of Ukrainians for money. And that's exactly what they are. They are. You want to see what the banality of evil is? Those people on that stage, Jonathan Capehart uh, and those uh, editors of the newspapers, those people are evil. They are doing evil. They are they are ma manufacturing consent for slaughter of people and there's no bigger uh, pieces of shit in the world than those people and he's standing up to him and that's right good for him that's why it always takes four of them to write the article that's right <laughs> exactly that's what Cy Hirsch was talking about earlier yeah four people on these stories all recycling the claims of intelligence officials these are the people in say. charge look at these yeah. people those are the people say. in charge 
Yeah. Can you believe that those are the people in charge of your news media? And now you know why I have a popular show. Because those are the people bringing you the news. You really think the New York Times gives you the news? There are people who most of the people in this country still think that the New York Times, the Washington Post, MSNBC, CNN, and Fox bring you news. They bring you nothing but straight propaganda from the handful of billionaires that own them. And that's that. And that's why those people couldn't answer one of those questions. Wow. And this video goes on, and eventually Jose was uh, dragged out of the room, keep, tackled. You keep, you keep playing. playing. Okay, all right. Let's go. Really? Let's go. Say something about this bombing. We blew up the Nord Stream pipeline. Let's go. Let's go. Listen, don't stand there while there are people rotting in prison. Nobody said anything about Uhuru, right? The socialists who are in jail for being critical of this war. Those are the uh, members of the black leftist parties who were recently indicted as being agents of russia and the indictment as we covered on the show just basically criminalizes their free speech because they're critical of the ukraine proxy war that's what he's talking about god damn it at least say something about the people in jail for being critical of this war they don't deserve to be in prison right now so yeah i mean uh that's what happens there's no accountability for people in power, no accountability for the media, but sometimes things like this happen where they get called out to their faces, and he spoke a lot of truth there. I don't get anything else. It's just it's it's remarkable that that uh, as as Tucker Carlson says that the machine was going to win, or he said the establishment's going to win, they're going to smash us, and that's what's happening. And we're you we're in, that's <laughs> what we're, everybody's getting smashed. And as soon as I become a bit of a, a, a problem, as Tucker Carlson was for the establishment, they'll smash me. They already tried to take away this channel when we told them the truth about COVID. The YouTube and Google lied. They did. Uh, they lied. They lied about what I said about COVID, and they did the most un underhanded thing. They tried. They tried to uh, scare me, and so uh, did, it did scare me. I don't want to get my channel taken down, but it makes me feel like a pussy that Tucker Carlson is getting fired, and I still have this show. I guess I'm not pushing back hard enough. But those people right there—that's what's wrong with this country. And that whole room full of people were all the most brainwashed, propagandized, warmongering terrorists in the whole goddamn universe. Are the people in the United States? We're the thing that most disgusting vile murderous thing you can think of that's the united states and those are the people who manufacture consent for it jimmy there's no one who can fire you unlike tucker he no that there is that the google and youtube can fire me immediately they can take me down well right. I, i'll okay. tell you what worries yeah. me is I, when is aoc going to finally feel safe yeah i know <laughs> but that's why it's thank god for places like rumble and uh, I don't know what the other name of the places are that I put my show up, but thank God. Rockfin? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, sure. So, yeah. fantastic. Anyway, um, the country's over. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed, but the country's over. This is called the death rattle of a democracy. Um, by the way, the death rattle was in the 80s. This is just the death rattle of, a, of, a, of an economy. We're over. We're telling jokes in Nashville, Honolulu, Los Angeles, Northampton, Massachusetts, Syracuse, Cohoes, New York, Hartford, Connecticut, Baltimore, Chicago, Rosemont, San Diego, and more. Go to JimmyDoor.com to see, get a link for all those tickets. Plus, you can watch my new special, COVID Lies Are Funny. <laughs> <laughs>